there's an elegance and simplicity, and there's a primitiveness in, in simplistic. It's the creatures that learn to be the most efficient, that refined their systems the most, that endured. And the ones that couldn't evolve are the ones that got left behind. So that ability to discern simplicity is a part of the evolutionary process. That's the story behind the Archaeopteryx lithographica. This is the first animal that grew wings to fly, you know, a big evolutionary leap. That really resonated with the founders of the company because at the time when they were really trying to push innovation and ideas about how we could evolve the equipment for the sports we love, there was this creature which kind of seemed to really capture that spirit and that philosophy. Good design is a process for us, so there is no good design without a process of evolution behind it. It's been about this constant chase of incremental gain. There's a desire to always do better and to always push further. You look at the Alpha SV jacket, you know, here we are 18 years later, it's almost half the way to what it used to be. It still has the same purpose. It's still the same Alpine jacket that's meant to be this personal storm fortress, yet We've been able to keep making it easier to use and better to use and lighter to use. And that's the ultimate goal, is to just always make this a little bit better. It is ideal to work through all the problems and, and you know, spend most of your time failing. You know, to have an idea, try it, discover the flaws, try it again, <laughs> you know, and then, and then just keep hammering at it. Hopefully there's something within that that's worth pursuing. No detail is too small to not be considered. As soon as you miss those details, that's when things are going to fall off. So you have to obsess on those details and obsess on that function and obsess on how the ultimate product's going to work. We're obsessed. <laughs> We're psycho. Before I came to the company, I, I heard about Arcturx making tools, and so it was, I was really curious about what that meant. When I got here, I realized, oh, okay, we're dealing with technology that no one else is using. We're one of the only manufacturers that have our own factory. So not only can we design the product, we can go out and design how to make it. And that's the behind the scenes that people don't, I think, realize happens at Arcturx. As a company, it gives us an agility. It gives us the ability to prioritize our production and to bring things to market quickly. So the tool makers, you know, those guys are innovating as much as the designers and they're innovating processes of how we make this stuff so that we can make it better. We built this brand and a bunch of really cool people have got it to, to where it's at. Here we are with this product that we consider the best and many do consider the best. And REI is only gonna wanna work with brands that they can trust and that are gonna work for their consumer. And obviously there's a great relationship there. There's a lot of great stuff out there on the market. So to stay ahead of it, we have to just stay after it. And that just creates this obsessive loop of evolution that just pushes us further and further down the path. It's a bold outlook on design and, and life and the sports and everything. We want to dream big and we want to try new things and we don't want to be held back and that's what Park Turks is about. <laughs>